if you can hear me, it's great to see you. Of course, we went out to the challenge that you posed on the streets of Nairobi. So before we get to hear from you this evening, let's take a listen <laughs> to what the word was and how people fared with it. Burex. Burex. Again? Burex. Burex. Again? Burex. Bureau. Again? Bureau. Burex. Again? Burex. Bureau. Again? Bureau. Again? Yeah, yeah, Burex. Burex. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Again? Bureau. Again? Bureau. Again? Bureau. Again? Bureau. Again? Bureau. Again? Bureau. All right, and that is just some of what we managed to gather. Willis, it's great to see you. Talk to us about how to pronounce that word correctly. Well, Sophia, in the first place, I'm fine, and uh, it's a great talking to you. And when it comes to Friday night, it's my pleasure to be on my seat. Anyway, that is it. But the word that is on the street, or where we have people talking from the street, it's bureaus, bureaus, not birus, not borex. It is bureaus, the plural of bureau, bureau. Anyway, this word is not pronounced as biru the way many people say it. It's bureau, and the plural is bureaus, bureaus. That is in English. Maybe French speakers may have a slightly different way of pronouncing it. But remember also when the plural ends with an S, it is an alternative. That is also acceptable. So it either ends in an X or an S. Those are alternative plurals of bureau. You say bureaus. Just like plateau, we have plateaus and we have it with an X or with an S in its ending. And that is that. And now, Sophia, if uh, I can take our viewers through what I collected this week, because you asked me to do that. Can I do that? Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead, Willis. <laughs> Thank you so much. So the first word, in fact, came from one Wanjiku S. Wanjiku S uh, says she is in Nairobi, and I think it's KU, that is Kenyatta University for that matter. She wanted to know how we pronounce this word. You say bizarre, bizarre, not bizarre or bizarre, no, bizarre, a bizarre incident. So Wanjiku and her friends, I believe now you are at home with that word. The next word is commonly mispronounced locally. Many people say tyranny, especially when we talk about tyranny of numbers. That tyranny, no, avoid it. Letter Y takes the short or pure vowel sound E. So you say T, tyranny, tyranny of numbers. Tyranny of numbers. Don't say tyranny of numbers. Remember when we talk of a person, you say he is or she is a tyrant. Tyrant. But say tyranny, tyrannize, tyrannical. Don't say tyrannical, tyrannize, tyranny. Avoid those pronunciations. Then the next word for tonight, we have the word trowns. Trowns. Somebody asked me whether we say trons or trowns, and I think this must be Kibet of Nakuru. So, Benjamin Kibet of Nakuru, you say trowns. That is to be like in sport, you say team A, trowns, team B, trowns. Don't say trons or trons. Trowns, trowns. We have the diphthong, ow, trowns. Then the next word is a bit tricky, and it's coming from one Sedwin, Sedwin on Sase of Kisi, Sedwin on Sase and Brian uh, of Kisi. So we say exeunt, exeunt. This is a very tricky word, but commonly used in drama or when we are giving instructions to actors who should be leaving the stage that is in a play. So we say exeunt. Exeunt, a very tricky word, and I believe it's borrowed from Latin. Exeunt, 
don't say those other pronunciations or versions that we always hear about. Exient is the correct or acceptable pronunciation that is for Sedwin on Sase and Brian, I hope you get that. Then our next word is Phoenix. You say Phoenix. Many people find themselves saying Phoenix. Phoenix. Avoid that. Letter O and E combine to form the long vowel sound E. And technically, that is a digraph. A digraph. A combination of two letters to form one sound. So, you say Phoenix. Phoenix, not Phoenix. Then, the next word is synopsis. Synopsis. Don't say synopsis. Don't say sigh. The other time we had uh, some, you know, uh, time to laugh, in fact, uh, that is when I talked about saying hypocrite, not hypocrite. Hypocrisy, not hypocrisy. And in fact, the bigger one was sycophant. Sycophant. Many people say psychophant. Now, we also say synopsis. Synopsis. Don't say synopsis. Just like synod. Synod. Not synod. System or system, not system or system. I hope you get that. Synopsis. Then laboratory. Laboratory from uh, Kennedy Omutiti. I think uh, the other day must be Omwami. Omutiti Kennedy wanted to know how we pronounce this word. We say laboratory. Laboratory, not laboratory. And Omutiti, I must also thank you most sincerely for being a lover or an ardent fan of Friday Briefing and KTN uh, for that matter. So you say laboratory. Over now to the feedback question. The feedback question from Salma Atieno and uh, the other person, if I've not forgotten, is Jacob Otieno. So Jacob Otieno and Salma Atieno wanted to know whether we say coop or coup. Letter P is silent in this word. You say coup, a coup, coup data, not a coup. Coup, no, because letter P is silent. Then, Sophia, I would now go straight to the surprise word of the night with your permission. Yes. Anyway, let me go to the surprise word for tonight. It's a word that is used very, very commonly, but most people mispronounce it. We say occasion, jen, occasion, just like collision. You can hear the sound, j, j, occasion, not occasion, 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 no, occasion. So we have what we call the voiced sound, j, j. Jean or jeune, occasion or occasion. Then finally, we have words which many people confuse. Either from the way they look, they have partially similar spellings. So we have the first word, that is the upper one. You say exalt, exalt, E-X-A-L-T, exalt, to be exalted by God. I feel exalted, exalt. But the lower word, E-X-U-L-T, is exalt, exalt, exalt. E-X-U-L-T, exalt. E-X-A-L-T is exalt. Otherwise, that makes it for tonight from me in Kisumu. Sophia? All right, thank you so much, uh, Willis So Cheng. If you like, Willis, the word master uh, for those lessons uh, tonight. Remember, you can always follow him at Willis O Cheng One. That Twitter handle uh, has been on the bottom end of your screen, and you can ask him directly those questions. And perhaps it's your words he'll pick for the next round of uh, Mind Your Language.